10 Ways My Hero Academia Would Be Different If Naruto Was the Protagonist If Naruto Uzumaki took Izuku's place in My Hero Academia, the story would look a bit different. My Hero Academia's shonen lead, is none other than Izuku Midoriya, who is defined by a few key traits from his great hero's idolization. All might to his methodical and calculated approach to training. Not to mention his healthy competitive streak. But suppose someone took his place. The hero of Naruto is indeed Naruto Uzumaki, who has enough overlap with Izuku so that he could realistically take Izuku's place in My Hero Academia and become its new star. Of course, there would be some changes along the way, some major and some minor. If Izuku was swapped out for Naruto Uzumaki, what would the result look like? 10. Naruto would replace All Might for more self-centered reasons. Suppose Naruto still had Kurama, the nine-tailed fox, inside him even if he were in the My Hero Academia universe. If so, people might still fear and ostracize him, and Naruto would suffer for it. And he can't become Hokage here. Instead, Naruto would seek respect and legitimacy by replacing All Might as the new symbol of peace. Creating a self-centered tone on his quest to become the number one hero. Izuku never had such a motive. 9. Bakugo would be less important. In the original story, Izuku was childhood friends with Katsuki Bakugo, but Naruto wouldn't do that. Bakugo would consider Naruto beneath him and ignore him. Then, in Class 1A, Naruto would find Bakugo's bad attitude repulsive, and he wouldn't want Bakugo as a rival. So, Bakugo would become more of a side character, albeit still a powerful and flashy one. 8. Shoto would become the main rival instead. If Katsuki Bakugo isn't going to be Naruto's rival at UA, then what about Shoto Todoroki, the icy genius? Shoto is a bit like the Sasuke Uchiha of My Hero Academia. And Naruto certainly had a good rivalry with Sasuke. Shoto is also aiming to become number one, and Naruto would challenge him to a race to the top. As Naruto grew stronger, Shoto would take him more seriously. Which would be fun to watch. 7. Momo Yayorozu would be more prominent. Naruto was once drawn to Sakura Haruno, a brilliant girl who definitely complimented Naruto as a ninja. In My Hero Academia's world, Naruto would turn to Momo Yayorozu for help more than once. Izuku has book smarts, but Naruto doesn't, so Naruto would ask the kind-hearted Momo for tutoring and advice and even see her as a teammate. This would give Momo a bigger role in the series, especially since Momo is not the type to reject someone who needs her. She would see it as a challenge to bring out the best in Naruto. 6. Pranks would be a common theme. Early in the Naruto series, Naruto often used pranks and mild vandalism to get everyone's attention, and he would do this in the My Hero Academia world. 2. Naruto would mess with everyone at UA to put himself on the map, and Shota Aizawa would be furious while Midnight would say, Ah, youth, and present Mike would think, I like this kid. It would definitely change My Hero Academia's tone, and Naruto would earn himself more than a few detentions. 5. Eri would have been rescued sooner. The fourth season introduced the young Eri, a girl whose quirk was a total game changer for good or ill. At one point, Izuku and Mirio Togata happened upon both Eri and Overhaul on the street. But they didn't fight. Imagine if Naruto was there. No matter what Mirio said, Naruto would have leaped into action to rescue Eri, and before long, more pro heroes would have arrived. Most likely, they could have swiped Eri from Overhaul and retreated with her, whether or not Overhaul was defeated. 4. Naruto would have failed the provisional hero license exam. 
Izuku passed the provisional hero license exam, but a few other students failed, such as Katsuki Bakugo and even Shoto. If Naruto were here, he would have failed it too, with his brash and reckless ways. This would have been a disheartening setback, but not for long. Naruto would take the remedial class with Bakugo. Kami Atsushimi, and the others and ended up a better and kinder person for it. Naruto is rather self-absorbed, but after helping some kids, he would gain a newer perspective, being a hero is about other people. Not him. 3. Achiko's character arc would change. In the original anime, Achiko was deeply impressed by Izuku's selfless quest to become stronger and replace All Might, which prompted her to emulate Izuku. Her role model. With Naruto as the new My Hero Academia lead, that would change a bit. Achiko wouldn't like Naruto's personality as much, and she would have a bit less sympathy for his motives for replacing All Might. Instead, Achiko would treat Naruto as a helpful melee teammate and find someone else to emulate. 2. The League of Villains would try to capture Naruto. If Naruto contained the nine-tailed fox in the world of My Hero Academia, then the League of Villains would take notice sooner or later. The League really did try to capture Bakugo to use his explosive power, so now it's Naruto's turn. The mighty nine-tailed fox could be a tremendously powerful asset for the League. Or at the very least, the League would try to deny the pro heroes access to this power using capturing Naruto. In this way, the League would definitely feel more akin to the Akatsuki organization. 1. Naruto's UA career would have a somewhat quieter start. In the original My Hero Academia, Izuku turned many heads when he entered UA with one for all's power. But if Naruto already has the fox's power, all might would hold back on one for all for the time being. Naruto must wait longer to earn it. Naruto would lack one for all early on, and he wouldn't really attract much attention with his own fighting style. This would drive Naruto to earn some respect and build a reputation the slow way and see if he can impress All Might enough to get one for all before graduation. <laughs>